Hey everybody, Curtis Lucina here. Today, we're driving the T80. Now the T80, despite looking almost, you know, pixel for pixel, a T72, it's technically a T64. Uh, so, in 1963, the T64 is everywhere, and it's it's kicking butt in the you know the manufacturing market for um, for tanks you know worldwide but the West is starting to catch up and Soviet Union needs a response in 60 uh, shortly after 63 a a product uh, a concept was developed for a turbine engine in a tank unfortunately with a lot of teething problems the project with you know turbine systems the project really didn't get far that's when the Kharkov plant and the I think it's the SBR2 research team took control and they began to refine the concept of a uh, turbine powered tank the project was called uh, the object 219 SP2. Is this Gaduka really going to do this? What an idiot. Oof. Uh, so, work began to squared away. Unfortunately, still a lot of teething problems in the system for uh, implementing a turbine engine. And... Uh, in 68, they f they finally started to square it away. Oof. In uh, 68, they squared away, and it, at this point, they're approved to build a lot of prototypes to see how they do. They build 127 of them. And after seven years of testing, it's finally adopted uh, with its official name, the T-80. Aww. Man, I can't even hurt that thing. And they kept a lot of T-64 blood in it. They kept the, the 125 millimeter cannon. They kept uh, crew positions, the auto loader you know, basic shape and design, but things like the suspension package, uh, the suspension package, or no, suspension was upgraded, uh, powertrain, fuel systems, all that stuff to keep up with. Ah. Swing and a miss on that one. Something's hitting me. You know, but they do they do all these upgrades and the tank is finally adopted as the T eighty. At which point they build enough to get around to about two hundred and fifty of them. And they're kept as kind of a like the elite tank forces tank. Eventually though. Um, the T-80 is basically superseded in every way by the T-72. The T-72 was what really, that's where they kind of worked out a lot of the bugs. They went back to a diesel engine for reliability, simplified a lot of the components, and the T-72 became the thing. But the T-80 remained in service for... Uh, remain in service within uh, the elite tank forces. Ow! Knock it off! Oh, hey, look at that thing. Uh, 
I don't think so, Mr. Leopard. Hey! What is going on here? Can't shoot me now, you dingus. Uh, the T-80 was meant only for Soviet use. Uh, they never wanted to import this to, you know, be able to hold on to something as their, you know, elite vehicle. I can't even hit him. How was that? That bagel was holding off a ton of hits. I don't know how that was happening. Oh, I didn't get that kill? Aw. Well, they are just raging up over that hill. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. And yeah, I can definitely see the resemblances to the T-72. I have a feeling that the T-72 came as, a, like, they saw the design philosophies of the T-80. And were like, that worked, the technology wasn't great. And so they just kind of took the design and moved it onward into the T-72. And then that shape be kind of, the shape became the mainstay of... Um, of Soviet design in the future. It's definitely a little faster than the... I guess maybe not faster, but like faster accelerating than the... Uh, than the T-64. I don't think so. Okay, let's pull up here, use a Sheridan as my cover. Wow, there's a lot of shells coming in from over there. There we go. Ouch. Could you not? Ow. Oh, that was weird. Oh, I died with a broken track. Sorry about that. Got into a sneezing fit. All right. Really? <laughs> oh, that's some crap. The swing fair is such a broken tank when it's in the AI's hands. What is holding this tank together? This is ridiculous. Ah, got him. Ooh, a combat pickle.
keep charging! Crush them! Oh, what? This mom's getting flanked three ways from Sunday. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what this drone thing's about. Like, I read the article on it, and, like, basically, like, a lot of the MBTs and a few other vehicles are getting drones. I think MBTs get, like, a recon drone, maybe. So, I'm, you know, kind of excited to see where that goes. But, yeah, that's the T-80. Uh, it's not a bad tank. Um, it's definitely hampered when having to fight higher, you know, higher uh, level tanks, you know, not necessarily higher tier, because in this game, like, you know, you can come across a tier four tank, and if they mark it superior, it shows up as a tier eight, but uh, in real world tank evolution, it does have trouble fighting higher level tanks. This is definitely a product of the 70s, and you know, so it can fight 70s and older, but, you know, coming across that Leopard 2 was, you know, and how that thing was so casually shooting through me, you know, had to adjust my, had to adjust my attack a little bit to keep their gun behind an object, but allow me to still hit them. But all in all, not a bad tank. Uh... You know, definitely led to improvements in further Russian tank design. I did get 13 kills. That's interesting. That wasn't ready for that. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that battle. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, huge thank you to those that already have. Comment down below if you'd like to see a tank in battle. And I will see you guys in the next mission. Until then, have fun.